Okay, good morning, Scott. Hey, good Miller. morning. You are almost an Adrian Dominican. I think we kind of brought that out at the general chapter. You were part of pre-chapter, uh, video upon video you worked at, and you were part, very involved in the actual sessions. So what do you know most about the congregation? <laughs> I don't think there's anything I don't know at this I point. Know. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of nice seeing all of it behind the scenes and. And um, a lot of people don't know you because we don't see your face that often. But those of us here on campus see you a lot, and we know how gifted we're and grateful we are to you for what you do for us. But um, are you from Adrian? You live around here. Your family. Well, a little bit about your. Technically, I was born in Adrian, so okay. yeah, I moved to Ohio for a little while. And okay. Yeah, so my family kind of is all over the place, really. So mainly, it's mainly my mom and my stepdad that uh -huh. raised me. So, but yep, and then I ended up uh, getting married and having a couple kids. And that's where we're at now. So. That's good. We've seen your little kids here. <laughs> Um, there's something else that you do at home that I remember once speaking with you that I was so impressed. Uh, you, you're very much into sustainability and the care of the earth and you do a lot of things in your own home that we're trying to do here. You're probably doing better than some of us. <laughs> I just began my composting. But anyway, tell us about that. Well, I was in the Army for, for about eight years right. and I had a full-time job in Lansing so uh -huh. my job mainly consisted of watching screens all day and surfing the internet so I came across permaculture aquaponics um, all that stuff and uh -huh. it just sparked an interest so it kind of got me thinking well how can I get to the point where I can be totally self-efficient you know without month-to-month -month bills and all right. that so so I got, came up with the idea to start a little aquaponics building you know uh, little 10 foot shed and what is that aquaponics aquaponics is basically where you have a, a tank full of fish and then you pump that water into grow beds and the plants take the nutrients and that's how they grow you don't need any chemicals no fertilizer no weeding you plant it and forget it pick it and eat it and that's it so yeah it's probably the best system i've ever seen and your wife and the kids like all this Eh, I have a million projects, so that's okay. just one on the list. So yeah, some sometimes they do, and sometimes they don't. But yeah. they kind of lose interest quick, so we'll see. Um, how did you get into technology, into the field that you're in? I uh, started making movies in high school, and uh, we won a we won a best of show at the Michigan Film Festival, and that that just took off from there. Ever since then, I've just had an itch to make movies. And that's about it. Yeah. So that's it. Well, how did you come to the campus of the Adrian Dominican Sisters? Oh, several years ago I applied, but I didn't get an interview. How long, how long <laughs> have you been here? I've been here for about five years. Five years, but so, you didn't get an interview. That Ray yeah. Casey, huh? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who was in charge of that deal, but no. So a couple years later, we went through the, the government shutdown, and I was working, driving back and forth to Lansing from Marenzi. So it was about a two-hour drive each way. Oh, my. Uh -huh. And I was getting kind of tired of it. And, they, they did the shutdown, and I kept thinking, well, this is just going to keep happening. So I saw a job here and didn't want to do help desk at first, but I was like, i got to start somewhere. What, what did you do? Started when? out working at help desk. Doing, uh, oh, the help desk. Yeah. yeah, we all have a problem, and we call you. Yeah, yeah. so I started so you worked out, your way up. Yeah, started out there, and then I saw that they had a need for more video production stuff, right. and I was like, well, let's see what happens, and started making little films. and. And, and the work that you do is is magnificent. I mean, I can go talk to many of our women that, you know, who is this Scott Miller, and he does these videos and all of that. You really are so highly thought of well, by you. our congregation. I hope you realize that. It's but, it's easy when you're passionate about something. And, well, you are, and, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I, I mean, I couldn't think of a better job for me, really. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I, I just I love that environment and being creative and creating something out of nothing. What do you find most positive about working on this campus? The joy. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I see it everywhere, and, and it's, it's 
for me, like I, I, I absorb energy, positive, negative, whatever it is. So don't being absorb a, that negative stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, for the most part, I mean, there, there's just, it's just a joy. I mean, mm -hmm. you don't see that a lot of places and I've worked a million different jobs and well, that's good. yeah, so it's, it's kind of a rare thing to see. That's good. So, um, you work for Ray Casey's your boss? Mm -hmm. Yep. Couldn't pick a better boss. So, good. Yeah, it's been good. And who else is over there? Randy? Yeah, we got Randy that now, does... What, what's he does, Randy's position? Randy does, uh, he takes care of a lot of the physical elements of the, okay. the video and audio systems, which is what I started. I started at Help Desk and then I moved into that position, so oh. I was doing Help Desk and that and then making the videos and then it turned into a more of a full-time video job so that's good so yeah he does all the physical hardware component stuff and we have brad over there he's yep. been there a long time yeah brad's probably one of the smartest people that i've worked with uh -huh. i mean he's got knowledge of all kinds of stuff and it's kind of cool nice respect for and mike yeah and mike yeah me yeah. it's it's a great team really everybody's we all get along really well so it's cool. nice. and, and that has a lot to do with with all of you, you all contribute to mm -hmm. that um so uh, as I said, you've participated in many of our things in our congregation. Do you have some good message for us about what we need to be better about as you look at our goals from general chapter? and I think a lot of it is just getting people to see what it is, see what really happens. And I think with, uh, with a lot of the videos that we did this last year, people got to see hands-on stuff. Right. And I think just having that awareness and, and spreading that more and more mm -hmm. will get more people drawn to it. But overall, I mean... It, how do you get much better than working in Chicago for decades and everybody talks about it? So, mm -hmm. yeah, it's kind of mm -hmm. cool. Well, you certainly are a blessing to our congregation. And um, if ever they say you, they can't afford to keep you or they want to find someone else, just ask for a raise because you <laughs> are priceless, really. Well, thank you. You, you thank are. You. And I say that because I know a lot of the women in the congregation. And I've always said that to whenever I come across someone who's um, just extra special. I always want to say, could I ever have the phone number of your mother and dad? Because I want to tell them what a good job they did with you. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah, mothers need to hear that. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She did a good job. She did a good job, and you listened. Yep. <laughs> and you were in the service for eight years? Yep. Went in the National Guard and almost got deployed a few times, and then I found out <laughs> That, the, that ended up being a stay behind at one of them. So I got to run the armory and stuff for a while. And mm -hmm. So yeah, I dodged a couple of those bullets and just the way it goes. Did you, have you had your kids here to see what you do, bring them to your office and stuff? Yeah, yeah, they've seen, they've seen some of the hands-on. So they know what you do. Yeah, they get to, they, they're around it all the time. We're always making videos, oh, silly videos, videos okay. and stuff. So, yeah, oh, that's nice. Yeah, you are fun. just a very special person, and I want to thank you in the name of the whole congregation for your service to us. Oh, and with such a, a quiet uh, sense of integrity, and you know, you don't speak out, you just know your place. <laughs> and I'm sure you get lots of us that try to tell you a better way to do something. Is that ever happened? Well, there's been a few, but no. Yeah. Overall, it's been pretty good. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Well, thank you so much. Yep, thank you. Uh, for taking the time to do this and letting us know you.